How's it going everybody? I'm doing another speed run here at Walmart. We're looking for secret clearance, we're looking for toys, we're looking for Legos, anything we can buy to resell and make a profit on Amazon or eBay. And I am here looking for toys, but they have a huge section here of clothing that I'm just gonna quickly check out. Don't think there's gonna be much here for me, but you never know. $3 Harry Potter socks, that might be worth it. But it looks like they do have a lot of different clothes on clearance. So I might have to look through this stuff rather quickly. A lot of it looks like it's Walmart brand, so it might not be too good. Nine bucks, normally 21, so man, it's not terrible. Reebok, Reebok, seven bucks. So anyways, I'm gonna look around for a little bit and I'll let you guys know if I find anything good. We'll catch up with you in a minute. Guys and gals, I am just kind of quickly running through this stuff and it doesn't really look like there's anything here for me. I mean, there is some like decent deals here. Like check out these and one shoes. These are normally like 18 bucks and they're only five bucks, but there's not a listing on Amazon and I don't know anything about kids shoes. So I don't really think those are worth picking up for me. They do have some other shirts and some other stuff like that, but the discounts aren't that good. So unfortunately, I think I'm just going to run through here and keep looking. We'll see what else we can find, but you know, you never know. I may have stumbled upon something and found stuff for a dollar a piece, but just wasn't the case today. Had some interesting long sleeve shirts and stuff like that, but it's like, I don't know, seven bucks instead of 12. So it's not really worth it. So anyways, I'm gonna keep on moving. Just wanted to kind of show you guys that I did look through this stuff. There's nothing really here for me. We'll keep on moving. All right, so the music was super loud here, so we're gonna do a voiceover going to the clearance aisle. We've got some HD Visions. These were five bucks. These are an as I've seen on TV. I usually stay away from those brands for Amazon. They had a deluxe planner set that was a terrible deal, 17, normally 19. Had some Care Bear, only at Walmart. These guys, here's the UPC if you're interested in those. Those were eight, 10, normally 12 bucks. I like to look for exclusive toys. Unfortunately, that one wasn't the best deal. This was pretty cool. This was five bucks, normally $19.97. Crayola glitter dots. Here's the UPC if you want to look for those using BrickSeek. Go ahead and scan this for Amazon. Scan it for Amazon, they're selling for 15. After Amazon fees and the original cost, I'd only make about two bucks, so it's not really worth it. It is kind of a good, you know, kind of a cool pickup for five bucks, but not really what I'm looking for to resell. These Legos were 35 bucks, normally 48. So the discount wasn't that good on these right here. So I didn't pick those up. Had some Ella frozen dolls on the bottom here. I'm gonna look around at the clearance a little bit more and see what else we've got going on. A lot of different arts and crafts. We've got some Hot Wheels down here. This was 80 bucks. It was okay, you know, not really the best what I'm looking for. I'm looking for really good deals for Amazon here. Looking in the other aisle, we've got some golf balls. These were 23, normally 23.97. That was terrible, so we're gonna go ahead and pass on those right there. Some more automotive stuff. We got some insect repellent. We've got some paints, thinners, different stuff like that. I should have scanned that Chris Kyle seat cover, but I didn't. Let's see what else we've got. We've got these little tool caddies. These were 95 cents, normally 3.47, which is a good price, but not really what I'm looking for for Amazon. And we've got this Mother's Brazilian Carnaba Car Wax for the exterior of your car. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up and then drop it terribly. And let's see, let's go ahead and knock that over real quick. Okay, good, good job right there. And you guys didn't see a thing. All right, we're gonna go ahead and scan this for Amazon. And it looks like it's selling for $10.39 on Amazon. So that's not really a good enough pickup either. We're gonna go ahead and put that back, act like that never happened. I think we're gonna go ahead and scan a couple more tools here. Let's scan this tool right up here. And it's selling for 12 bucks, which is a good deal. But I think the rank is actually kind of high in the tools. So we're gonna go ahead and pass on that as well. We'll keep looking up and down the aisle here. We'll look at the other automotive stuff. Looks like we've got some tennis balls, some different stuff like that. So not really seeing a whole ton here. But, you know, you never know. It's always worth looking up and down and scanning everything just in case you see something that's going to jump out at you. We'll go ahead and check these duck window kits real quick. Check these on Amazon. 
pull up the Amazon seller app, which is what I use to check prices for Amazon. And they're selling for $10.49, which I don't think is gonna be worth it. So we're gonna to have to go ahead and pass on those two. And we'll check the other side here. We've got some workout stuff, some fitness mats. Those are not really gonna be good for Amazon because they're gonna to be too big to ship. And a whole lot of toys, got some different weight sets. And this was a terrible deal right here, 140 bucks, normally 149. So nine bucks off is not a great deal. So we're gonna go ahead and pass on that too. So we'll check out this notebook and then I think we're gonna move on to the next area. I'm gonna show you guys here. I'm near the end of the aisle. We've got a lot of toothbrushes and stuff like that. These are a pretty good deal. They're only 250 for replacement heads. I'm gonna show you guys the problem here. There's only one listing, or the one person on the listing, and I believe it's the company, so, oops, don't do that. So it's the company, so they're probably good about IP claims, so I'm not going to mess with that. They've got a lot of backpacks and stuff, but nothing is really worth picking up. A little fanny packs. For two bucks, a little fanny pack. Backpacks for like 15, but worth like 25 or 30. Not really worth it. So, not really doing too good here tonight. Gonna keep looking. I've got some Disney planners and stuff. I looked these up, I didn't really see anything. Anyways. Wow, look at this clearance. 70 bucks, normally 72. Check that out. Not doing so good. So, anyways, not every store is a winner, but uh, we're going to keep on looking. The uh, <laughs> losing streak continues, and I'll show you guys why. I found a Lego set over here, and I was like, cool, what's Anakin's Interceptor doing over here? So I just. And it is $8.40. Awesome. That's normally like a $25 set. But can you tell if there's anything wrong? Loose pieces. And it's been retaped and opened. So there's a good chance there's not a complete set there. So not doing so good. <laughs> Gonna keep looking. All right, guys and gals, this store is not amazing. And I'm really trying to grind it out here to find anything good. I did find some Lego dots. You guys know how much I love dots. Absolutely love them. But these are on secret clearance for $1.50. These were hanging up on one of these like little tags as I was walking through the kids' toy section. So it's always good to scan this kind of stuff because people kind of overlook it. So these little guys are here. This is $1.50. This is normally like five bucks. So I'm gonna grab two of these. I'll show you here. $1.50 unavailable in your store. So anyways, we're gonna grab two of these. We got two of those. And then the big score of the night are these lovely little ladies right here that are excited to come and hang with me and go meet their mate. I've got Mr. Potato Head waiting at home. He's a very lonely fella. I'm gonna bundle these ladies up with respective spuds and then send them out because these guys are still selling really well right now. I'm gonna look around a little bit more, but honestly, I have not really found much in this store. It's just not going so hot, but that's okay. I mean, not every store is amazing. What? As I'm talking to you guys, check this out. This is awesome, all right? So I know I've said this in other videos, but make sure you check the top shelf, okay? As I'm talking to you guys, my eyes go up there. Can you see how many are up there? Can you guys let me know? We're gonna have to make sure some of those ladies come home with us too, because I think there's three, maybe four up there. So hey, appreciate you guys' help. I'm gonna grab a few of these uh, Mrs. Potato Heads and then uh, I think we're gonna wrap it up. But anyways, not every store is a winner. Not every store is just amazing with tons and tons of clearance. And there might be some other toys that I'm just overlooked. So anyways, these potatoes are gonna be a win. Let me grab some of those and we'll catch up in a minute. All right, so I want to show you guys this deal. These were $9.96 for these Funnel Pong games right here. So I'll go ahead and scan it with the Walmart app. And they were actually $2.50, which was a pretty good deal. These were neat little 
games to play with. Unfortunately, they weren't really a good find for Amazon, so I looked over here. I've got some other stuff. We've got a goal system for $255, normally $398. That's another good deal. Might be good for a local sale, but I'm not really looking to pick up big stuff. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and keep on looking here in the sporting goods section. Looks like we had some coolers on sale, $57, normally $90 something. All right, so we're going to go ahead and check out these blankets and comforters over here. And unfortunately, the music was super loud, so we're doing another voiceover. These flannel sheet sets were nine bucks, normally fifteen. That was an okay deal. These Wonder Woman blankets were two fifty, normally nine ninety seven. That was a pretty good deal. So we're going to go ahead and scan these for Amazon, and they're selling for eleven bucks. So after fees, you're going to get about. dollars profit so that's so so it's okay but i don't really want to mess with it for two bucks so we're going to go ahead and pass on those they've got some of these flannel comforters which were a good deal they were 21 bucks normally like 50 but went ahead and passed on these two just because i didn't really care for the color and i don't think they're going to be selling too well on amazon since that's a walmart brand so we'll go ahead and look at those See what other blankets we've got here. We've got some Sherpa blankets on sale on clearance. Then we've got some other blankets down here on sale. These were five bucks a piece for these wolf blankets, which is a pretty good deal. Then we've got some praying blankets down here at the end, and that's gonna wrap it up before we get to the next section. So we tried, just gotta keep looking. All right, guys. So I wanna show you something else that I'm looking at and just kind of stumble upon these, but uh, this is something people might overlook. Tell me what you think. So I am looking at these 2021 calendars and these are at least half off. Some of these are a pretty good deal. Five bucks, five bucks. Got some journals and stuff like that too. But some of these are worth buying to resell. So check this out. We'll look at Bob Ross here. All right, so Bob Ross is selling for $13.95 so after fees you get $7.43 and that's five bucks so there's about a two dollar profit so I mean that's so so that's okay the rank is really good but five bucks for two dollars profit I'm gonna pass on that but I do think there is some good ones in here I think this is a good one right here 2001 2021 comforts let's see let's see if we can pull it up here Flip it over and this calendar is selling for $19.99 on Amazon. The rank is really good, selling for $19.99, so I'm gonna pay five bucks a piece and I'm gonna make $10 a piece profit on this calendar right here. See, five bucks. So each one of these is gonna net me 10, 10 bucks profit, so that's pretty good. So I'm gonna grab a few of these. So there's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. We'll go ahead and leave one, because that's what we like to do. I think this is a good one, and I think this one is a good one too, but let's pull this one up. Simply Grateful. Five bucks, normally ten. Let's see. And the price right there is fifteen, so, I mean, retail price is fifteen, so even if it was just retail price, it would still be worth it. All right, retail price. $14.99. The rank is really good. It's going to cost me five bucks and i'm going to make five dollars profit so i feel pretty good about that there's only two sellers i don't know how many they have but there's only two sellers they're going to sell pretty quick oops they're going to sell pretty quick so i'm happy with that so these are going to be five bucks profit so there's you know five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty thirty five almost forty bucks profit just on those calendars right there every day is a holiday i say that but um you know, I don't always feel like every day is a holiday. This one looks pretty good. Thomas Kincaid. Now this one, I couldn't get the UPC to scan. So instead, I just used the Amazon app. Let's see. And I just scanned the front of it. And there's two listings. This one is for a mini calendar. So that's not the right one. This one is the wall calendar. This one is selling for 28 bucks. So that means on each one of these, I'm going to make $15 profit. 
Unfortunately, there's only two of them, so there's 30 bucks profit, but those are a pretty good deal. So I'm gonna grab those. Let me, let me know what you guys think. Have you ever sold calendars before or have you ever taken the time to look? Because this is definitely worth it in my opinion. So I don't see these are marked down, but I'm gonna check those out too. And there is a whole bunch over here I haven't even looked at yet. So there's some more of those good ones right there. Anyways, what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to post about this on my Instagram and just kind of tell everybody to look out for these uh, calendars, which is a pretty good deal. And hopefully they'll make some money. If you're interested in, you know, finding out about these deals before the videos come out, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at the flipping accountant. And I post, you know, different bolos and stories about picking up stuff, content, all that fun stuff, and some cute pictures of my dog. So if you're interested in finding out the deals before the videos come out, go ahead and follow me on there. I'm gonna go ahead and post real quick, and then I'm gonna grab some calendars, then we're gonna keep on moving. All right. <laughs> so this uh, has turned into an unexpected uh, calendar sourcing trip. So I got a whole bunch of calendars so far. These are half off. These are five bucks going for like 20 dollar 50 we got some really good ones down here and i'm looking in the office products department because i wanted to get some boxes and i found more calendars so more calendars here more calendars here i thought this one was pretty cool disney kincaid thomas kincaid only five bucks and then I'm scanning and I'm looking and I'm scanning and I'm like, wait a minute, somebody's gonna love this. For five bucks? Yeah, let's see. Guess what? If I could set it down. <laughs> Look at this. Five bucks. These bad boys. Look at that rank. Selling for 20 bucks a piece. Gonna make 10 bucks out of that. 10 bucks profit per Chippendale calendar. So thank you guys. I appreciate your hard work. Ladies, I hope you enjoy these calendars or gentlemen, whoever. It's not up to me. It's, uh, you know, whoever wants to buy it, I'm good with it. So these are 10 bucks profit on each one of these guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> so we've got, oh, five of them there. So there's about 50 bucks profit there. Gonna look at the other calendars and I haven't even touched these calendars yet. So I've got a little bit more to go. It's kind of turning into a longer trip than I expected, but we're doing pretty good. I'm going to grab some more calendars. I'm going to get out of here and see what else we can come up with. Thanks for following along, guys. Hope you guys are enjoying. Pro tip, look for calendars because they do sell and you can make money on Amazon or eBay. All right, guys and gals, I think I'm all done. I grabbed a whole bunch more calendars. Some of these are just phenomenal. This out. I also got some Baby Yoda wrapping paper. This is only 10 cents. This was hidden way down there, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Grabbed a bunch more calendars. These are like two bucks a piece, and there is just a ton of uh, calendar profit. Pretty excited about this. Don't know, what do you think? Should that be the uh, thumbnail? But yeah, we got a ton of calendars. I think I need to wrap it up. I think we've done pretty good. We've got Mrs. Potato Heads, we've got calendars, we've got all sorts of stuff, so. Overall, I think we had a really good trip. This was unexpected, and it's one of those things like you never know what you're going to walk into. You know, I was kind of kind of getting discouraged in the beginning. You know, I'm glad I stuck with it and took the time to go through stuff and just going up and down every aisle. You never know what you're going to find. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what, you, what your favorite find was or if you've ever found uh, calendars for sale before. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It helps me and the channel out a ton, and I really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.